Hey everybody, it's Rob from Man Sewing and I've got an incredibly special guest today. It's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi everybody. Well, you know I like to travel. Yes. So I thought I would walk all the way up the stairs and meet you today. Well, I certainly hope it didn't take long to get here or you didn't have any problem with your luggage on the way. A little out of breath at the top of the stairs, I gotta admit. Only because she was singing all of the way up. Well, that's that is true. a true story. That is true. <laughs> to sing all the time. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have so much fun today. Our tutorial is basically a modification of our strip surprise from the Three Dudes Quilt Company. And this is a true story. When I first got hired to do the man sewing gig, I was studying what Jenny was doing on her YouTube channel, right? And so I fell in love with the way she was modifying this pattern early on. Seriously? I did, I did. Oh, awesome. And I thought, you know what? I'm into strip piecing right now. I wanna try this. Yeah, And so, it's such a cool idea. Oh my goodness, it was so Those guys are brilliant. Fun. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would like to meet them someday. Yeah, we love the three dudes. You've actually met them. <laughs> I have not. No, but I they have, have great stuff. Yeah. We should take a road trip out there. We should. That'd be awesome. A, su a surprise, like a knock on the <laughs> door kind of surprise. Hello. Hey, we're here. Oh, fantastic. Well, we could goof off all day and we probably will. But uh, let me run you down through a couple of supplies real quick. Don't you want to show them this quilt? This quilt here? Yeah. I would just assume they could see it, but yes. Yeah. Let me see if I can get this right. Look at this lovely quilt I have take behind me. Look at this quilt behind <laughs> us. Yes. <laughs> No, this is actually radical, and I love the quilting and everything in the, the way it came out. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. I think it's gorgeous, really. Yeah, but do you, you think got it from me. I did. I did. <laughs> but do you think it's going to be hard to make? Oh, no. No, it's oh, not. Oh, everything we do is easy and quick. It is, and easy I was and blown away with the secondary design elements that came out of it mm -hmm. just by one of the little swaps that I did. So now I'm gonna run through this. Okay, course. go We're ahead. ready for that. Okay, so you only need one of your roll-ups, like a two and a half inch set. This happens to be an artisan batik from Robert Kaufman. And this one I think is called Sparkling Water, something oh, like beautiful. that. But isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. It looks just like the ocean to me. Yeah. Okay, and then I use, this was a real treat, not having to cut all my one oh, and a half isn't inch that strips. Treat? Yeah. Yep. So I got this, it's just the Kona black, but it's all pre-cut and ready to go. So I, love I that. basically unpack them. <laughs> I know, I rolled them. Going. This was, was so hard. Easy. So, you ready to unpack? I'm ready. Cool, if you'll take that one apart and I'll take this one apart, we're gonna need them both. Oh my goodness. I know. Craziness. You know, a lot of people buy jelly rolls, but they don't always open them and they don't really make it easy. First they got the label, right. then they got the rubber band. Right. But they're so cute all wrapped up. All ready. right, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. You're nuts. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. So what I found as I was unpacking my, um, my strips here of the batiks is I wanted to try to focus on getting my light colors into my kind of centers of the, of the strip sets we're going to build so that okay. we build these X's in the back of the quilt that you okay. see. Um, and I also found that there were a lot of colors that had three strips and a lot of colors that had two strips. Mm -hmm. So we only need two of each. The third one we're going to use for our borders later on. Oh, okay. So as I was unpacking this, it'd be like one for me, the borders, and two for you, okay. the quilt. Okay. So two more for you, one for me. Well, and this is not true with every every oh, of course uh, not. roll up strip. I mean, some of them each there's a different each one. Every color is different in some of them. Is what oh, I'm yeah. trying to say. Yeah, you know? or <laughs> every color. So is you the just same. yeah. So you just basically want to use two thirds for your strip sets and one third for your exactly. Border. I didn't quite know what to do with the leftover stuff or that that one third yeah. portion of it. And then I got in and I thought, ooh, the borders yeah. will be good. And we'll those, show you how to do those that. Those piano the key borders are really cool. Mm -hmm. So basically, I did just that with this particular roll. I just unpacked it, and these became my first set of colors, and we're making three different colorways. And we're, once we get this all stitched together, I'll have you mm -hmm. show them all the colorways we're building here today. So with this, let me show you how I kind of had it organized, and then I'm gonna let you build it if you don't mind. Okay, sure. Okay, so I wanted to focus on kind of keeping the light fabrics in the center. So when I was looking at this, I was trying to modify it so that I would always have black on the outside edge. Okay, so that like makes sense. Where you've got your black there, here, and then there's one more strip I've hidden underneath here like this. Okay, so basically these are gonna be built in this order. So you're gonna have a skinny strip, a colored strip, skinny, three colored strips, and I, like I said, try to keep the light in the center, and then the um, skinny, a colored, and a skinny again. Okay. Just like that. All right, Jenny, thanks for getting this all stitched together for me. You are welcome. Now, let me just point out again, focused on the light colors in the center. Okay. Then we have the skinnier of the black strips, then our colored strips, then the skinny of the black strips. Okay. Now our next step is gonna get, make sure this is all pressed nice. One last time. 
One of the things when I'm pressing too is I always tell people make sure there's no little folds in your seams because that changes the size of the block. Absolutely. And, or the strip set and that will change the size of the block and that can be crazy. You know what, I've also seen change the size of the block is sewing parts of one block on one machine and parts of oh, yeah. the, the There's block so much to on that. another you know, machine. It's that whole start a project on one machine, finish on one machine. I really it's, agree with it's, that. It's, a, it's important. So for this step, what we need to do, and I've already cleaned this edge off a little bit, is I want to measure how tall mm -hmm. our block is, our strip sets are, so we can make it into a perfect square. Okay, so for this, I'm just going to hold my ruler this way. So however tall they are, Correct. that's how wide we're going to cut them. Correct. Because we're making blocks, we're making squares. Yes, and so I'm just at 14 and a quarter here. Perfect. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to measure over 14 and a quarter from this edge, and I'm going to slice here. Perfect. And one strip set row will yield three of these blocks. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to make one of them. So there's one. Okay, I'll let you grab that. And set up They're four. They're so pretty, aren't they? I love the colors. I do. I love, uh, I'm like Rob, you know, I, I actually, where Rob lives, <laughs> I was actually born there and uh, love the ocean as well. Now, why don't you walk our friends and family at home through how we're going to piece these back together, please? Okay, so the cool thing about this is that now they're squares, so you can do anything you want to <laughs> because they're even on all sides. <laughs> and so, um, so we're going to have one square horizontally, one square vertically like this. We're going to put them right sides together, and we're going to sew all the way around the outside edge. And it's just really cool how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you're just starting on one corner and going all the way that's around a, yeah, the square. Yeah, that's what I do. Fabulous. I played with both ways of sewing one side the other and then the top and bottom. It didn't make any difference. So, and while she's sewing around that real quick, I want to show you the other colorways that, that you could build out of that same batik roll. So this was kind of the medium family. You're seeing the brighter of the families. So here's my fun medium family. Again, I've got my light side, my lighter fabrics in the middle, kind of gradiating my way out. Okay, and then the other one I have, it's a little bit darker read on this. And technically, yes, my lightest of the fabrics is this gray, but I really wanted the blue in the middle because I wanted the blue to kind of coordinate with the rest of the quilt. And you can see those way out here in these squares as well. So I was kind of trying to play, trying to get that, that variegated color effect as well. So these are the other kinds of strip sets that I made. And again, just a reminder, I made two of them each colorway. That Did makes I stall the, almost long enough? It makes the quilt look so beautiful. I love how the lights are in the center and mm -hmm. then you've kind of framed them up. It's so pretty. Start down. I just got one more side to go. And when you finish sewing this, there's no real way to press anything. So we go right into disassembling it all over again. Yep. This is where the amazement happens to me. I mean, you see this and you're just like, oh, so cool. Yeah, the first time I opened up that first little new square we're about to create, I was very, very Feels, feels happy. like Christmas. Yep, it does. You want to cut this one or you want me to? Oh, you can. All right. She lets me do all the fun <laughs> stuff. So for this cut, I'm going to go ahead and cut through the corners of my seam allowances. So right where my quarter inch seams met up, correct? Directly if diagonal. I'm wrong, that's how I was doing mine. One. So I'm going to do a diagonal here. On both sides, yeah. And then diagonal here. So if you've got one of those cool lazy Susan mats at home, it would be fantastic because yeah. you really don't want to move. Make sure this is right in this corner up here. You got her? Oh, there you go. Yep. Okay. So we really don't want to move the fabric. And remember, I've got those grip strips on, so I'm lifting the ruler up and I'm dropping it back down. I'm going to go this side. Oh, you right-hander. I know. <laughs> See, we would be really good. I did all the right-handed cuts. You did all the left-handed cuts. We just trade off. Straight through. So again, I didn't move the fabric so that I had my diagonals there. And here comes the so magic. Now, you do it. You do it. You do look it. Look at this. Oh, we need a little cut right here. Uh-oh. There we go. We get them all? So yep. now, yeah. So now we get these four blocks like this. Fantastic. Okay, let's do it. So we open them up. And because we laid them vertically and horizontally, you now have streams, uh, strip sets that are going opposite directions. Isn't that cool? That is, isn't that so cool? Okay. So you can do this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like that? Or you can do this. Isn't 
So how did you lay them out for your quilt? Well, I tell you what. Let I me, love these two different. I did a couple of different ways. Let me press these so that we can see them a little bit better. Yes. And I'm going to ask you. We've got another oh, one. Oh, sure. We want to cut that open. Because we want to we want to see how these, we're going to lay these together. Correct. All right, and I hid this. the ruler and I hid the cutter. That's all right. A little Easter egg hunt going on in here. I'm pretty good at finding those. Good. You got to feed all those grandkids to the goodies. Is that what it is? Yeah, they don't touch my <laughs> rotary cutter, though. <laughs> no, good. Now, as I'm pressing these open, I'm trying to press it so that that skinny strip that's the border strip is being pressed too, so that I don't have to worry about folding the seam allowances. So to answer your question, I first started, and maybe I can have you start building these. I started in the very middle square mm -hmm. as I was building, and I actually looked for my opposite colors here, which brought in the opposite colors Perf, here yeah. like that so I built this one first and then I started to gradiate my way out I love it that way and then I brought in the other colors and I tried to keep my brightest squares towards the center moving my darker squares towards the exterior and there was a point where I had all of the squares laid out and it certainly seemed like I had made only one incorrect. Mm -hmm. So I went around and double checked and double checked. And as soon as I have these ones ironed, we'll point out what everybody can look for at home. And then we'll talk about borders. All right, I've got, I've got these four and I'll let you iron that Fantastic. before we get on to the rest. Fantastic. So then as I was building the next series of rows, I thought, well, wouldn't be this be terrific if we can have these different colors come together. Gosh, but yes. I didn't want my same fabrics to touch. So then I brought this one over to this side mm -hmm. so that I was looking for my opposites. Two different colors, yeah. Correct. And my opposites there. And so that's going to give me opposites. Opposites. And opposites. Excuse my reach there. That and is opposites. So cool. Like that. So then how many, how many uh, blocks, what do we have across here? I believe it was 36 if I remember One, correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six yep. across and six, six down. down. Yep. And you know, they'll have to refer to this picture for that color placement where right. those beautiful dark ones right. come in the corners. And at my retreat, as I was just bragging about one quick option and then we'll move on to borders. Um, one of the ladies took some of the lights from the center and actually moved them into the outer corners oh, interesting. and then brought some of the mediums into the center mm -hmm. and then had the darks in the outer corners. I imagine you could and do it, it was like pulsing. Oh, it was really beautiful. cool. I'll make sure there's, a, but when this tutorial comes live, I'll make sure there's a, an alternative photograph from oh, my that's, friend yeah, who that's made really, hers at the retreat. Really it's really stunning as well. That's great. Okay, so. So we're going to sew six across, six rows of six, and it makes a quilt that is what size? I don't know. It we was don't about know. 60 square. <laughs> it okay. was all done. Actually, I do know because in building the borders, I had to measure because, let me walk us through that real quick. Are okay. we ready? Yeah, think I think we so. Don't need any more of this? Okay. I just want to go home and make the quilt back up. It's Thank beautiful. you, my dear. It is just gorgeous. So, as I said, I had those leftover strips, mm -hmm. the ones that were, I had three of in this particular pack. And so then I did a strip set row without any of the skinny black strips, okay. just color. And similar in colorway, starting with my light and kind of gradiating out in both directions. Now, try to go slow with this. I figured the distance along the outer edge, right? The outer edge of my quilt. So the first step was I put in one more black skinny strip all the way around. Okay. So, so I needed to sew two strips for the bottom, two strips for the top, two each for the side. So I used eight strips there. Mm -hmm. For that first border. Correct. The okay. inner border. Then I measured the math all the way around. And I think at that point it was sitting at about 56 or so. Mm -hmm. I stitched this together. I figured out how much I would need to go all the way around the quilt. Figured out how much I needed here and divided it until I could evenly get <laughs> enough strips. Now I know that sounds crazy. So here's your answer. Three inches. <laughs> Three inches. Thank you. But that's how I did it. Because I, I, I do everything on the fly. I literally measured and I fit, said, if this is what I've got. Yeah. And this is what I need. Mm -hmm. Divide it in. Right. And that's how I found out. Perfect. Um, but at the end of the answer, it's three inches. Okay. A three inch Woo. cut. Yes. That was a lot of work for that. So. When I got done with all those three inches, I had enough for the label on the back. Oh, very cool. <laughs> that that Perfect. was all that was left with my math. So Perfect. if I'd gone to three and a half, I would not have made enough for all those strips I needed. So you cut three and a half inch strips. Correct. And then sewed them together end to end? Uh, I did, and I also continued the color order as it went. So basically, as I, uh, it's probably easier to show here. I stitched this color to this color. Okay. You know, so and like on right and on here. I went. Exactly. And so that way it kind of goes all the way around. Yep. Yeah, beautiful. And then for me, 
as I got to the corners, there was one, you know, piece mm -hmm. that was just a little bit shy, mm -hmm. and it's such a large all over Nobody quilt. Nobody cares, yeah. Nobody cares, nobody, nobody cares. will see it. Mm -mm. Wow. Awesome. What a project. Thank it's you. beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming oh, and doing welcome, this with you're me. Welcome. I I've love it. really been blessed to be part of your crew here and your family. Oh, and we love it. We oh, love having thank you. Thank you. Okay, enough <laughs> sappiness. Just a moment. <laughs> okay, so we want to know what you're going to use for your first color way when you build your variation of the Three Dudes quilt. And the Three Dudes that are watching along, thank you again for fantastic patterns. And until we see you next time, this is Man Sewing.